This is Channel 7's Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas and Kitey Tong, Corey McFerrin with sports, Stormfield with weather, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, I'm Bill Butel with Roz Abrams. Ernie Anastas is on assignment and Kitey Tong is off tonight. One of the more bizarre chapters in recent American criminal history has come to an end. The end for Ted Bundy, a 42-year-old killer who left a trail of at least 20 murders from one end of the country to the other, came in the electric chair of Florida State Prison, an execution ordered after state and federal appeals were exhausted, an execution that set off cheering from those who had called for Bundy's death. Bundy, with his head shaven and his feet bare, was escorted to the chair by two guards. He appeared to be composed and at times even smiled. Just hours before, he told James Dobson, a radio show host, he felt great remorse and his crime should be a warning of the dangers of pornography. I deserve certainly the most extreme punishment society has and I deserve, I think society deserves to be protected from me and from others like me, that's for sure. Each time I'd harm someone, each time I'd kill someone to be an enormous amount, uh, 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 especially at first, uh, enormous amount of, of, of horror, guilt, remorse afterwards. An eyewitness later described Bundy's last moments of life. He made eye contact. I guess it was the way he carried and acted himself. He made eye contact with people in the front row. You know, he spoke to them. He was cognizant of what was going on about him. Uh, he made reference to his loved ones and to his family when he was saying his last words. The hearse carrying Bundy moved from the prison, past a group of cheering spectators who had waited for Bundy to die, and some said Bundy should have suffered more than he did. Ted Bundy was executed for the murder of a 12-year-old girl in Florida back in 1978. Over the past few days before his death, he confessed to the brutal murders of 20 women in four states.